In this video, we're going to take a look at how to take a rendered particle simulation from Cinema 4D into After Effects, and we're going to turn it into a infinite loop. So here we are inside of Cinema 4D, and this is a simulation. It's cached out. We've got a rotate and some turbulence modifiers from Nexus. The rotate is mapped to age so that the rotation doesn't happen until they're quite old and it starts spinning off in this direction and we'll play a few frames. You can see it's just a very simple simulation. And we've rendered in cycles, and this is what it's looking like out of render. Now, one of the key things we need to do is make sure we have a lot of rendered frames. So for this simulation, I've rendered out 20 seconds worth. So that gives us plenty of information that we can use to create our loop. So let's jump into After Effects. So here we are inside of After Effects and we've got our rendered frames here. So let's just drop these into a new comp. And if we scrub our timeline, you can see our renders. So what we want to do is we want to create a loop and we'll make it something like five seconds. So we've got 20 seconds to play with. So we've got a lot of range that we can use. So what we want to do is we want to pick a part of this that we want to start from. So let's say we want to have the information start here. So let's clip off this top. We'll drag it down and then we're going to say we're going to choose what our range is. So our range, let's start it at five seconds. I'm going to put a marker here using the star key. And we'll go up to 10. And we'll put another marker. So our range is from five seconds to 10 seconds. So let's duplicate it. Control D or Command Shift D. And the key thing we have is we've got this start and we want this start to also be hit down here. So let's adjust this and we'll slide this down and now our start frames within that range are the same and all we need to do is create a, a transition with the opacity so let's hit T on our keyboard and we'll set this to zero add a keyframe and go up to the 10 and set that to 100% so all it's doing is taking the simulation and really slowly transitioning it back to our start position. So let's set up so we can play it. So we're gonna hit B on our keyboard and go up to the end, which is K and then N. So our time range is that 10 seconds. So that we can play that. And you can see it's just gonna loop, loop back and you can't see that fade because it's such a long fade. It's just taking the information and we're getting that start and end exactly the same. And it's just going to be an infinite loop now. So that's the basics done. Uh, what we do now is we'll just tidy things up. So let's set these into a uh, group. So control shift C and control command C and key on Mac. Hit OK. Let's remove the start and the end, we'll just trim those off, control shift D, put this down at the beginning, so we're good to go, and now you're all set, you've got your loop, and if you want to do any color correction or anything like that, you can do that now, so let's put in just a little bit of a curves, which I quite like to do just to get some nice contrast in there, so just bring it down, pull it up here, just get that contrast looking a bit stronger. And that you could even put some motion blur in there if you wanted to but that's the basics of creating a seamless loop from x particles into after effects